Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you will have seen from the title of this video and the change in background behind me, my bookcase has arrived. I talked about this in my birthday vlog, which I will leave up there. Um, but Gary bought me a bookcase for my birthday and I'm very, very excited to show you around today. This will now be my, my new filming background, although I'm literally like a foot <laughs> away from where I was before, so it's not really a new space. But I'm really pleased about my bookcase and I thought I'd do your tour. I've done um, tours of my other um, bookcases that I have around the house, which I will also put up there and in the description. They're some of my very first videos, so try not to laugh too hard. In it. And actually, I haven't been able to watch them back because I have a feeling they're probably pretty bad, but they'll give you an idea of the setup that I've got. But yeah, a new bookcase. And actually, I realised that it's the first bookcase I've ever owned as an adult uh, because I moved out of home at 18 and went to uni. And then ever since I've kind of lived in like shared houses and then in a tiny little cottage where there was no space and I've just never had the space for an actual bookcase of my own. So I'm going to give you a full tour. I don't have loads of books on the shelf so I probably will talk through all of them um, and then I will come back at the end to wrap this up. But yeah, this is my new bookcase, my new baby and I love it very much and I hope you enjoy having a look around. Okay, I thought I'd start with a general view of this whole wall of our lounge so you get a bit of context of where the bookcase fits in. So up here you've got my other bookshelves that Gary bought me for my last birthday with my book rainbow on it. Um, this is a motorbike sculpture um, that Gary bought for, him, for his birthday. Then we've got a TV unit with crates and stuff, TV on top of it. The um, theatre light, Gary's, part of Gary's vinyl collection and then my bookcase. So yeah, this is what like the whole um, wall of this room looks like. And I wanted a bookcase that would fit in. So our, nothing matches in our house, which is kind of our theme, I guess, accidental theme. So I wanted something wooden, preferably with a little bit of metal on it um, and just something a bit different because I didn't want just standard shelves. So this is what we've got at the moment. Okay, top shelf. Does this count as a shelf? I'm counting it because it's got stuff on it. Anyway, so starting from left to right, we've got a lamp that is just one we've had hanging about and we'll probably get replaced soon. Then got my CJ Sampson books. I'm currently reading the fourth one, which is called Revelations, and it's the Matthew Shardlake series. I just like having these books all together and just thought they looked nice stacked there. And then on top of them, we've got, or with them, we've got these two rocks that Charlie collected when we went to on a special beach with him last year and he picked them because they are heart shaped so I just like having those there. Then I got this amazing print that my friend Steph sent me for my birthday and it looks so much like our cat Jack which is why she picked it and I actually put it up uh, on top there just to move it whilst I was hoovering because we we're going to put it up on the wall and then I realised that actually I like the way it looks propped up there so that will probably stay there for good now. Then got this little dish that Gary and I bought on honeymoon in Kefalonia this year, just as a little souvenir. And this metal lantern that Gary's had for ages that just went nicely there. So yeah, that's the top shelf. Next we have the paperback shelf and I don't know if this will eventually get filled. All of these books, by the way, are books that I've read. My TBR lives up in my bedroom and these are all books that have I've either given four or five stars and that I'm planning to reread at some point. I don't keep books just because I've read them so these are my kind of keeper collection and um, so it may not get much more filled than this or I might have a really good run of things and it'll suddenly be really full but we'll see how we go. So this section here these are mostly thrillers but they're ones that have a black spine as you can see because I just like the way they look all together. So I've got The Winter of the Witch uh, by Catherine Arden, The Butterfly Garden by Dot Hutchinson, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which is one of my favourite books of this year, 13 by Steve Kavanagh, The Woman in Black by Susan Hill, which I really recommend, especially at this time of year because it's super creepy, Stephen uh, Carrie by Stephen King, Only Ever Yours by Louise O'Neill, The Wonder by Emma Donoghue, also another great autumn read, um, The Silent Companions by Laura Purcell, which I Apparently it's, it's a bit of a Marmite book here on Booktube, but I'm not sure why. I'm definitely going to reread it soon and I absolutely adored it. I read it in one go the first time. And then Sweet Pea by CJ Skews. Obviously that had to be face out. I'm kind of using it as a, um, to hold the other books up at the moment. But it will probably still stay there even if I do get proper bookmark bookends at some point because you know how much I love that book. Then I have this, which Steph made me a few years ago. I shall be miserable if I have not an excellent library. Leave me a comment and tell me which book that's a quote from. Unfortunately, as you can see, the glass got cracked when I moved, but I still love the frame and she physically sat and made that for me, so I love it. 
And when I was putting my bookshelf together, it obviously had to come down and be part of the bookshelf. And then over here is my Jane Austen collection. Now I have read all of these books, but not these actual copies. I'm quite hard on books when I read them. I crack the spine, I dog ear the pages. You know, I'm basically a total animal with books. So these are just for aesthetic purposes only. These are, you know, to be saved. And they're such beautiful editions, but I have read all of her works. And yeah, they're just really pretty. This shelf is kind of a mishmash of basically books that I think have pretty spines or are nice editions and I just want to keep and I just sort of put them all together. So we've got What Would Buddha Could Do, which is one of the funniest non-fiction books that I've ever read. Um, Louise O'Neill, The Surface Breaks, uh, which I know again is a bit of a controversial book and it's one that I do want to reread because the first time I read it I thought it was great but I'm a massive Louise O'Neill fan so I'm not sure if I got caught up in the hype but we'll see when I reread it. Feminist Don't Wear Pink and Other Lies by uh, Scarlett Curtis, forgot that. <laughs> the author's name there, and Chases of the Light by Taylor Knott Gregson, uh, which is a book of poetry that Gary bought me when we were dating. Um, this is probably a slightly weird thing to be talking about on the internet and to have on my bookshelf, but this is our previous cat, Cassidy's Ashes. Um, she passed away in May last year, year before last even, um, and yeah, we were gonna scatter her ashes, but actually I can't bring myself to do it, so she will probably just stay with us on the shelf and I like having her where I can see her. And then I've just got a stack of books, again, that I like the spine of, so The Christmasaurus by Tom Fletcher, which I'll be rereading in December, The Virgin's Lover by Philippa Gregory, Sir Same by Madeleine Miller, and this beautiful edition of Much Do About Nothing, obviously by William Shakespeare, again, that Gary bought me when we were dating. If you knew me or my channel at all, it would have been obvious that there was going to be a Margaret Atwood shelf on my bookcase and this is actually the first one that I put together when the bookcase arrived. So yeah, these are all Atwood books. I've started collecting um, her books in this lovely edition. Um, it's got kind of like a 1920s vibe, I'll pull one out um, so you can see. So this is The Edible Woman. I just really like these editions. So I'm starting to collect them for my Margaret Atwood Atwood reread, which we're going to be doing next year. Um, and yeah, there's not a lot to say about the shelf. It's all Atwood. It makes me happy. This um, Gary's had for years, and actually, I accidentally broke it into three pieces the other day because it fell over. But he repaired it, and I don't think you can see it was broken. But yeah, this is probably my fa my favourite shelf on the whole bookshelf. I was also destined to have a Harry Potter shelf, so I've obviously got the seven books in the series plus um, an extra the Ravenclaw edition of the first book and a copy of The Cursed Child. Um, I'm not interested in the Fantastic Beasts series. I watched the first one which was fine but I'm not interested in watching anymore because Johnny Depp um, and I'm not interested in reading the books. I haven't really heard great things or like the, did they do like script film scripts or something? I'm just not interested in those so they won't be included but I do also have three really great kind of behind the scenes books that the boys bought me for Christmas the year before last. I've still got one to read, which is the one with the bookmark in it, and that's going to be my non-fiction for December. And then I've also got two of the audiobooks um, stacked up on top. I would love to have the whole series on audiobook, like the CDs, but they're so expensive. Um, and then also my Hogwarts uh, candle that Gary bought me for Christmas last year, and he cannot understand why I will never burn it, but for me it's not for burning, it's an ornament. And then last not, but not least is this little shelf down here, which is a bit of a random mixture of stuff. So these books here are all hard books that I've just really enjoyed this year. I probably won't reread any of them, so they probably shouldn't be kept, but they're just so pretty, so I'm keeping them for now. So we've got Box by Christina Doucher, XX by Angela Chadwick, Normal People by Sally Rooney, and Everything Under by Daisy Johnson. And then on top of them are the wooden love letters that Gary bought me, again, whilst we were dating. Uh, they're, like, they're old um, letters from letter uh, from publishing presses. And yeah, I just really, really love them. Then this little book of Proverbs, if you've watched my other videos, you might have seen it. It belonged to my grandpa who passed away a couple of years ago. And I just like having it where I can see it every day. And then this is my classics collection. These are all the classics I've read so far this year. Um, and I'll be doing a full like classics wrap up to have a look at all of those. But yeah, I just like having these books out where I can see them. So that's my bookcase tour. I hope you've enjoyed this video. All of anything that I've mentioned will be linked below. And yeah, I hope you like my new background. And if you've got any questions, 
shout me in the comments as always and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye!